I found this cherry burl in a neighbor's firewood stack. It didn't look too promising, but it yielded these two beautiful pieces. Last week I did this bowl on the right. This week I'm doing this box on the left. I'm mounting on a screw chuck, my favorite mounting technique for a blank of this size where grain orientation is not important. Again, bring up the tailstock support for a measure of safety. Get the tool rest as close as we can. Again, it's got a lot of nice gnarly figure and some voids. Um, let's finish taking this off. Take that back. See what we got. This one's got looks like a little tougher wood at the bottom with as many voids right there. So I may I may go ahead and put a tenon on this one. Take it back a bit a little bit further. Yeah, this is solid. This will make a nice, uh, nice tenon. So let me go ahead and find a pencil and give that a shot. Okay, so we're going to use the tenon. We want to bring it out to about. Yeah, let's just kind of, kind of try it here. Okay, that's perfect. I think that'll hold it. Got it nice and flat here. Uh, let me get it that corner just a little bit. Let me get a detail gouge. And before we're going to reverse it, I've got a flat here, i got a flat here. I may leave some of it, but I need to get rid of a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. Because that because of that burl, somehow uh, this gouge feels like it's been dragging, like a chainsaw that hit the dirt. So let me go sharpen it up. Okay, it's a little too small for a bowl. Kind of gnarly looking, but I think uh, I've got the potential for some kind of box. I'm going to take it down. I've got a really bad rough spot here. I'm going to have to get most of the way through it, I think, to be able to put any kind of... Uh, lid shape on it, so let's see what happens. Get the speed up. I'm going to use this little tiny 3 8 inch fold out. And now maybe I can better evaluate the shape. Nope, got a long way to go. I think I'm going to have to come down here. This looks like it goes through it. So let's just keep working down the side. Liable not to be anything here. I'm gonna fatten out the bottom. Maybe I can figure out the bottom looks good. Maybe I can figure out how to use that in the shape of eliminate this wood at the top. Okay, that's getting better. I still got a mess there. Um, 
think I'm just going to part it off there and see what I've got. I've got to get down here at least to probably three quarters an inch. So I'm going to take off a half inch. I can work through that. Um, interesting shape here. All right, so I'm going to use the depth drill to get a better feel for when I've got near the bottom. my hunter tool. I haven't used it much because I'm still struggling a little bit with how to best use it. Uh, but it's it this particular model, I think it's the Viceroy, uh, is got a dipped front and it's got a bevel on it. You can use it like a bowl gouge. I'm going to hold it flat. mess here I think I can do okay with the lid so I'm not going to uh, be too concerned about that I think we can decorate that uh, I'm gonna have an inset lid from a, a different color wood but I gotta hollow it a little more I'm gonna put a little shoulder in here in a moment to go. Well, that barrel's really looking pretty. bump in the middle. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Up and across. Down. Up and across. Just in the middle of that bump. That hunter tool left a very smooth finish inside so I could start sanding with 220. I was going to make a lid out of contrasting wood. I looked around in my my scrap heap, my my collection. I found a beautiful piece of cocobola. Uh, cocobola scares me. They say there's two kinds of turners: uh, turners that are allergic to cocobola and turners that are going to be allergic to cocobola. So I'll definitely wear a, uh, a respirator. And I've got a scrape. I don't know how old this is. I don't know how long I've had it, but it's covered with wax, so it's going to be. Probably got to be treated as green, but I've got to get all the wax off of it because this is pricey stuff So I'm only going to cut off an inch and I'm going to put it on a uh, threaded glue block So I got to get rid of all the wax and then probably wipe the bottom down with acetone uh, In order to get to stick to the glue block I round off my cocobolo block Get the edges off and then get it perfectly round Wearing my respirator 
After that, I go ahead and check check the tenon to make sure I've got it sized properly. Pull the tailstock out of the way, and I actually bring up the the bowl uh, or the little box space still left in the chuck, so I can fit it. And I've got a good fit. Now I'm going to face off. Uh, this is the bottom of the lid. I'm facing it off. This is the side with the wax. And then I adjust the tool rest. And I come in here with a negative rake round scraper and start gently concaving the inside because I don't want it flat across. I sand up to 400 and cut a slight uh, contour groove uh, and use my Dremel decorating burr to put in a little texture. I have to uh, turn the tool rest around backwards to get in there so now I rearrange it and uh, change out the tip of my tool in order to get the point tool so I can frame the texturing by putting in a few uh, a few beads or, or V grooves around the texturing on the inside and, and outside. Got to turn the speed back up. <laughs> turn it down for texturing, turn it up for for scraping with a uh, point tool. I've turned this handle, but I need to, uh, I turned it this way, now I need to turn it around to finish the top. So I'm going to make this little collet, make a collet chuck, and I basically cut wafers out of a piece of uh, poplar with a slice through it, and I'm going to take one I've already used to make a little smaller, a little smaller, uh, Go a little bit deeper. I think I can do. I think I can do that. I'm going to use a box scraper to come in there and, and go a little bit deeper. Okay, I think I'm there. Tighten it up. That's running very true. Now all I need to do is shape the very, very top here. Very light cut. Finer detail gouge. Trying to figure out exactly where I'm going with this knob, and I think that's that's good. I'm going to uh, polish it up because of the tiny bead I put at the uh, top of the box. I'm able to grasp it in the normal jaws. Not a real strong hold, but all I've got to do is finish off finish off the bottom. So let's do that now. somewhat matte finish I'm going to use uh, simply Mylan's sanding sealer as my final top coat. I'll probably put two coats on it. I need to probably thin this down some 50%. This softens up the bristles so I can reuse the same old brush. Now I take off that final little bump at the end using my spindle gouge, taking very light cuts. Now 
I'll take my round negative brake scraper and just press the bottom. Make sure the bottom is flat. And when I finish sanding, I will put my name on it before I put any finish. I'm pleased with how this little box turned out. If you're interested in another piece from this burl, here's these unpromising pieces that I was able to take one of them and turn this beautiful winged, winged bowl so you can watch that episode here. I may or may not get around to turning this last block. Uh, it might be a future episode on a box.